The key concept behind addition and subtraction of polynomials is combining like terms. You want to group things together that are the same and not group things together that aren't the same. And by the same, I mean exactly the same. You can't have, um, say, for instance, an A squared grouped with an A because those aren't the same thing. These numbers will end up being different. Now, you can use the commutative property. For instance, um, AB can be grouped with BA to get 2AB or 2BA, it doesn't matter which way you write it, because the commutative property says you can multiply in any order. So these are the same thing. But A squared B plus B squared A is just that. It doesn't combine anymore. Those, those two things are not the same. So as we're applying that concept, um, we're just going to take this group of, of uh, terms here, this polynomial expression, added to this polynomial expression over here, and we're just going to combine the things that match, the things that are the same. So on the left-hand side, we start with 3a squared. And on the right-hand side, we have 4a squared. Well, 3a squared and 4a squared, if we have three of these things, whatever they are, and four more of those things, then we have a total of seven of those things, 7a squared. And then those are taken care of. Next thing we have is negative b. So we have a negative 1b, and then we're adding that to a 3b, because those are exactly the same. So if we owe 1 and we get 3, then we must have 2 once we pay off our debt. So we'll have 2b's, and then those two are taken care of. And then finally we have positive 2a, and we need to add it over here to nothing else. The only other thing we have over here is a negative 3c, so it's not going to combine with 2a. So the 2a doesn't change, it just stays, and so does the negative 3c. Neither one of those combine with anything because there aren't any others like them. So our answer then is 7a squared plus 2b plus 2a minus 3c. And all we're doing is grouping the things together that match. Let's take a look at one more example here. Uh, 4a squared minus 3b squared plus 2a squared y minus 3b minus the polynomial 2b plus 3b squared minus 2ay squared plus y. So the first thing we'll do is just take a look at our first term. We have 4ay squared. Uh, we have another, we have a 2a squared y here, but that's not the same because here the a squared, or a term is squared, and the y term isn't. In the first one, the a squared wasn't, and the y term was. So keep looking to see if there's any others that match. b, 2b, 3b squared, 2 a y squared. Okay, this one matches. So we're going to combine these two, but the second one here is being subtracted from the first one. This whole polynomial here becomes subtraction. So we're going to subtract a negative 2y or 2a squared, a y squared. So we have 4 minus negative 2a y squared. If we subtract a negative, that becomes addition. So we'll have 2 a or 6, I mean a y squared. 4 minus a negative, which seems 4 plus 2. So now those two are taken care of. Our next one is negative 3b squared. We have, nope, this is just a b, just a b, 3b squared. Here's another 3b squared right here. So now we're taking negative 3b squared minus positive 3b squared. So we already owe three of them, and we're going to take away three more. So now we're going to owe six of them minus 6b squared. And then we have 2a squared y right here. And there aren't any more of those. Those are the only ones. So that just stays 2a squared y. And that's taken care of. Now we have negative 3b. And we have a 2b over here. So we had negative 3 and we take away two more. That's negative 5. And then the only thing left is this y down here on the end. We didn't have anything to take it away from, so effectively it's 0. 0 minus y would just be negative y. So this is our answer right here.